Cozy gamers have been getting fed for the past few years and 2023 will be no different. But some titles have flown near completely under the radar, especially on PC. So today I'll be sharing my most anticipated PC cozy games that are to be released in 2023. Some of these will also be appearing on consoles, so don't you fret my Switch users, there's stuff for you too. I'll be starting off with more fluffy, casual games before shifting into areas that are more dark and twisty. Yes, I said dark and twisty. I am a siren after all. Dark Darker tone games are coming up my alley. Puzzles for Clef is a platformer that's no enemies, all puzzle. In this game, you play as Clef, a bunny girl sent on a birthday treasure hunt by her sister Cress through a magical sky island. This island is their ancestral home, and in exploring it, completing puzzles, and even side quests, Clef will learn of long forgotten secrets and her family's legacy. It's a beautifully illustrated story that focuses on family and sisterly love, with puzzles designed to be challenging but you know not rage quit levels of frustration inducing it seems like the perfect game for people who enjoy platformer experiences but aren't necessarily all gung-ho about the enemy encounter experiences that happen within platformer games you're free to explore to your heart's content and unlock things at your own pace. Honestly, the premise kind of reminds me of Pop Tropica, just pestilified. This game will be available via Steam as well as Switch in quarter two of 2023. So expect it to come out in about um, April to June months? Personally, I really want it to come out for Easter. I mean, a bunny exploring a pretty pastel world would be top tier for the holiday. Spirit Swap Lo-Fi Beats to Match 3 2 is a funky game mix of Candy Crush, Lo-Fi Girl, and various dating sims served to you hot out of a witch's cauldron. In Spirit Swap, you play as Samar, a young witch trying to round up spirits that have leaked into her dimension before this really big concert hit town. A concert that you can crash if you play your card right or well match three right is that is that is that a thing? Can you say that? Can I say that? You match three to the beat of custom-made lo-fi tracks, casting spells by arranging the spirits in your little game board into special patterns to accomplish your goal for the games. Your match three games can be influenced by the items you put in your room, giving you special abilities to unlock whatever you're trying to do for that specific game. You earn these items through bonding with various switches and demons that you meet as you progress through the story. As you bond with them, you can become friends or, you know, smooch buddies. One of the pluses of this game is that it actually factors in some replayability. You're able to play with friends via a local co-op mode and mix up your gameplay thanks to the room decor mechanic. If you're someone who enjoys Match 3 games like me, then this might be up your alley. Spirit Swap will be coming to PC, Mac, and Linux next year. In Maho Sinchi Cosplay Club, you'll live your cosplay dreams as you design and craft magical girl cosplays that will grant you different abilities in your convention center adventures. While much of the gameplay is centered around these roleplay battles that you just bust out having in the middle of the conference in a turn-based RPG style, your costumes that you make will grant you actual powers you can use outside of these roleplay battles that may aid you through quests and contests. You're free to create whatever looks you want, but you best be careful. While there's no limit to your imagination, you need to be strategic about what color palette, shapes, and cuts that you make in your outfit. Otherwise, you find that the next battle might not go as planned. The game is designed with replayability in mind as side quests and NPCs are dynamic. There are multiple ways of reaching the end and thereby one playthrough may not entirely be like another. Cosplay Club will be available on multiple platforms including PC, Switch, Mac, PlayStation, and Xbox. I'm very excited for this game. It's lower poly yet very sleek art style. Just, I don't know, it's something about it that I really like. It kind of reminds me of style savvy and those older fashion themed games that I used to play while growing up. Maybe actually they're why I am a sucker for anything that involves good character customization. Oh, and actually, the next game will have character customization. If you've been enjoying Little Witch in the Woods or Wildflowers or you're just a witch stan in general, you may want to keep your eyes peeled for Songs of Glimmerwick. Songs of Glimmerwick is a story-driven witch academy RPG where you play as a young witch attending the University of Magic. I'm not sure if this applies to everyone in the school, but you specifically channel your magic through your flute. <laughs> so, uh, you're basically a bard. By playing ancient songs, you'll try to do your best in classes, make tools do your bidding in the botanical garden and unlock new areas of the island. Oh yeah, there's also a feature where you're able to learn how to talk to frogs. I'm very happy about this little tidbit. 
The game will have a fully voiced cast of both major and minor characters for you to befriend, some of which will have quests for you to complete and drama for you to uncover. The game will also have seasonal festivals, curses, and various other things I'm probably forgetting to mention, including the character customization, which I did peek a curly club, you know, hairstyle in there, so I'm, I'm feeling good about it. All in all, I'm very excited for this title. It provides that whole witch magician academia aesthetic I've been wanting to play for a while now without, you know, supporting some other people like she who will not be named. This is just a big welcome breath of fresh air. Interestingly, you can actually watch the game development of this over on Twitch. Um, this this is not sponsored, by the way. I just find game development to be very interesting. As of right now, Songs of Glimmerwick will be coming out solely on Windows PC, so I'm sorry for my console players. Ways of the Woods is a short, low-poly adventure game about a doe and her fawn who are trying to find their, you know, way back to the woods. Along the way, they encounter other animals in the wonders of the city, which isn't very wonderful if you get what I mean. Inspired by Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke, Last of Us, and various music artists including the ones from Steven Universe, this simple game is the brainchild and pet project of an Aussie teenage Tumblr nerd that I frankly don't want to scare so I won't go on too much about the game. I just feel like the idea and graphics were too precious to pass up and I want to see more on it. Some of my favorite and most heart touching games have been low poly and short. Honestly, I'm not expecting anything big out of this title, I just want something cute. Not everything needs to be a huge, huge story. Fall of Porcupine is a reflection on unhealthy healthcare systems, and it's told in a style that's similar to Night in the Woods, both in the actual art style as well in the actual gameplay. In this game, you take on the role of a young doctor in a sleepy town of Porcupine. Many of the residents appear to be friendly and inviting to you, but some might just be holding some secrets. You'll spend most of your gameplay investigating the healthcare system and treating patients through various minigames, testing your logic, speed, and skill. The demo, which is the prologue of the game, is currently out for anyone who wants to get a feel of how it's going to be played. I haven't picked up the demo, but that's mostly because I don't like having my stories broken up. I binge read everything. Thing. The prologue did get good ratings though, so I'll trust the game will be good. Fall of Porcupine will be available on Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, Mac, and PC. I'm really excited for this next one. Children of Silent Town is about the only game on this list with a set release date. Actually, yeah, no, it just is the only one on this list with a set release date. Coming out on January 11th of this year, Children of Silent Town is a point and click adventure game for Switch and PC featuring a beautifully hand-drawn Coraline-esque art style and dark narrative. Throughout this game, you play as a young girl named Lucy who lives in a village in the woods surrounded by monsters. Several townsfolk and even animals are disappearing and Lucy is on the case to investigate. Gameplay will be centered around building relationships with townsfolk before they disappear, puzzles, mini games, and a mean cat who likes to mess with you at any chance it gets. Children of Silent Town has a prologue that is free to play all the way through. If you're not sure about the title, but feel like you might be interested, or if you're like me and you think you're going to get scared. Once again, I haven't played the prologue, but I do plan on doing so alongside the full gameplay here on my channel in the next few weeks. Stick around if you're interested. Children of Silent Town will be coming out on Steam and Switch at a retail price of about 20 USD if the Switch site is anything to go by. Listen up, because if you're a fan of Little Night nightmares, you're gonna love Bramble the Mountain King. Honestly, it's probably a strange choice to put on a list of cozy games, but you cannot look at this art style and tell me it does not pull at your heartstrings like holy crit. The story of the game focuses around a tiny little boy named Ala who is adventuring through a massive world in search of his sister who he's trying to rescue from a troll that's kidnapped her. It's an unsettling story based on dark Nordic fables with beautiful visuals that can quickly turn violent and deadly. Playing through the demo for this, and I did play through the demo for this, I nearly cried. The game was just so pretty and yet so visceral and I wanted to see more. The gameplay will apparently feature boss battles and maybe a kind of choices matter element to it? I don't know, the game description warns players that courage without kindness may lead them down a dark path, which 
kind of makes me think that there's some kind of, you know, evil versus good path that you can go down, but I'm not sure. I'd have to check it out. Uh, so take this part with a grain of salt. Either way, I'm both excited for and dreading this title because I can't say no to pretty landscaping. Honestly, I feel like this is an example of one of those times where you're given something tear-jerkingly beautiful yet unspeakably grotesque that makes everything you see and feel in response to it that much more profound. It's why I love fairy tale retellings, which I guess this one could be considered one in a way. Maybe? I hope you found the title that sparked your fancy. If you did, please comment down below what you're most excited for. If I miss anything, don't hesitate to say so either. I tried to go for titles I didn't see anyone else pointing to on YouTube, so I know there are a few I definitely miss. To anyone who's already typing Minico's Night Market down there, I already know. This is my first video, and I gotta thank you for sitting down to watch it. I don't have any way to point you to, but in the future, I hope to provide cozy gameplay with mildly darker or more serious tones in a chill early 2010s let's play style. Maybe share some books I'm interested in too? Who knows? Either way, end of story. Or maybe it's the beginning.